In this tutorial, we're going to talk about using guidelines and your rulers. Now, these are two really important tools for making certain that you're, you know, designing appropriately. So, let's give some examples. Firstly, how do we activate guidelines? Guidelines are very, very simple. Now, notice I have a horizontal and a vertical ruler here. Now, anytime I click on one of these rulers, left mouse click and drag, I can create an interactive guideline. So, I can always reposition this any way I'd like. I can go ahead and left mouse click and create a new guideline. Um, so I usually like to frame the top, bottom, left, and right of my design. Now I'm going to move to the left hand uh, or the vertical ruler and once again I'm going to left mouse click and I'm dragging. I'll go ahead and drop that guideline. Left mouse click and drag once again. So you, I like to use these guidelines to really frame or establish a sense of space so I know exactly what area I have to work with. Now the other really useful tool to uh, make sure you're positioning and using space uh, appropriately and, and maximizing your imprintable area is using the ruler in conjunction with this. So notice where the uh, vertical and horizontal rulers intersect at the very top left hand portion of your workspace right by the pick tool. So if I hover my mouse in that intersection, you'll see this little uh, function highlight. If I left mouse click on that and I drag, I can reorient uh, the zero, zero uh, com uh, uh, portions of the ruler. So ordinarily and by default the zero zero will be uh, aligned with the top corner of your page. So the very top left hand corner of our page that would normally uh, indicate the zero zero mark. But we've just recoordinated that to match our guidelines. So now uh, I can measure and I know this is the zero point and I know that if I move my guideline over to the six inch uh, space on the ruler, I know that that's exactly six inches. Uh, likewise, I can measure height and width. So if I know that I want this logo to be no more than two inches in height, I can go and readjust that. So now I've positioned my guidelines and now they correspond to a unit of measure. So now I can uh, confidently readjust my uh, logo to fit that printable area.